we bring together for you the best photographers in the world. I never have an idea what I'm going to do. I want to be completely open and it's just, it's certain things attract me and it works in both ways. Things attract me and I attract things, you know, so even people, jeez, oh, how come that, that happened to you? I mean, yeah, I see your photograph, but how come that happened to you? It never happens to me. There's a lot of chance the, the, way, well, the day won't be very good. But once things start to fall in place and things seem to work out, often it goes all, all the day long. So it's, it, it's very, it's something mysterious about it. I, I became a magnum photographer for very practical reasons, because uh, uh, to me, well, it was the best people around. I was I've never in a group before, I'm very much a loner, so I never, and I, I admired some of the work, so uh, and I was moving around all the time. I, I had a Volkswagen bus for many, many years, and um, I didn't have my own flat, so I was staying with friends and, or girlfriends and moving back and forth. And geez, I had a big trunk, which I still have, which lots of my originals. So uh, and they were moving from one place to the other, so I said, geez, it's a bit dangerous. Uh, it's, it's, you work in different places, like uh, in a different way. For example, in Cairo, in, in Egypt, or, or, or in, in uh, places in India where there's so many things going on at the same time. You know, I, I, I love it, and I try to make order. You know, that's that's the, I try to make order where things where people fall fall in place. You know, that, that thing in terms of composition works. Uh, I did many uh, landscapes of seascapes, which uh, which are very very different. You know, they're much more serene, and uh, you know. So, you know, to me, why Cartier Besson is so fantastic, because it's not only very well composed, but it says things about places at a given time as well, you know, so it, it is more, there's the different layers of understanding, uh, which I'm, I hope I do in, in some of my work, where not only, it's not only about composition, it's uh, as well about a particular place and about a given time, you know. So, um, I was doing a a parade, following a parade, and like often when you do parades, uh, things are more interesting before and after, and people are looking at the parades. So uh, this is particular scene with the balloons and, and, the, and the baby and all that, where people were moving in a certain way, uh, maybe strong sunlight, which we were hiding from. And um, I shot three or four pictures of, of them doing that, and one of them is that. I've I done two trips to Ireland, which I really enjoyed. I mean, I, I, people are so wonderfully crazy. And, uh, and I saw those two little girls sitting there with Coca-Cola um, in a little radio, which is like a radio. It was in 88, we, we, we at, at the time. Special, I mean, and, and, and everything was green around, the green car, the green, the green background and the, the, the attitude. Well, it's, it's often the case where you feel you're intrigued by, for example, a wall. Uh, there, there was this really, I arrived in a souk in Erfurt in the south uh, of Morocco. There was this beautiful wall in, in a souk, uh, market, and there was these goats standing to the right. And there was a woman sitting completely in black to the left. I found it kind of interesting, so I went to sit a couple of meters in front of her. And she turned around. And that is incredible present of this baby in the back, which I didn't know what was there, which was dressed absolutely perfect with stripes and all that. And that's a very physical pleasure in photography when things come together and say, wow, that is it. It's like an orgasm, you know, it's like, wow. I was living in, for a little while in, in London and I had this crazy television at home, which just moving the antenna in the wires, I get really extremely dense colors and really weird wonderful things. It became very creative. I had some, somebody with me which was moving the antenna and moving the wire. I said, stop, stop it. And back and forward, moving physically towards the screen and moving back. I thought you could make a portrait of a country through the television as well, which was, because it was different in the States than in France and it became something different. I had to, I had to move over to digital and I was like, the, pulled out my arm or my eye, it was really, really panicky. You now I'm sticking to Canon, 
and I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not important. I mean, it, it is important and not so. What's important to feel physically uh, um, happy with holding the camera? You know, I can't, I, I never look at the, at the screen. I can't work, when I look at the screen, it's, I don't have the connection. I mean, I have to look to the view, viewfinder. I need to be uh, part of my body, you know. I need to, to, to be to holding it. Uh, the, the holding, some cameras I don't like because they're too, bulky or there are too many uh, all kind of digital cameras there's so many you can't do so many things it's much too much I mean uh, it, it has to be simple it has to be direct you know all the possibilities don't make any sense most of the time you, because you can do everything in post production so uh, I, I just shot two campaigns for uh, Hermes uh, one in Miami one in Venice and again, I was with 30, 40 people around me, which is like really very, very heavy. It's a big responsibility. And in this case, I kind of enjoyed it, but it's, 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 I really prefer to work by my own, you know. I hardly have one assistant around and, and you know, it's, it's, photography is about being by yourself. I mean, it's, to me, it's, um, my family, when I go on holidays or something, they're very, I'm into India with all of them, and they, they, they get so upset when I always stop the car and always want to, to, to do things and stay there, and it's like a complete different rhythm. So they, if I don't do, do it, I get frustrated, and they get frustrated, so it's a very bad idea. It's, you have to do it by yourself. The real fun is taking the pictures. I mean, the, that's that's the more that's that's even better. But I mean, the, then you have to. I'm, I'm I work very very quickly when I shoot, when I'm working. I'm very very slow in 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 editing and making prints. I mean, it takes me years. For example, uh, the Moroccan book. Some I started 40 years ago, and uh, the, the book just being printed like two years or three years ago. In my photography, it's. You have to be physically less there as possible, but moving as fast as possible, but trying to understand things better than when I don't photograph. I mean, I understand things better when I have my camera than when I don't. Be inspired. Be better. Be great.